Well, I'm recording another video today, even though I don't really have a whole lot to say. Um, I don't know. I've really been in um, kind of an obsessive mood about Apple lately, um, just because of all the new product releases and everything. And some people might think I'm retarded for liking them, but I don't care. I. You know, I happen to like Apple a lot. Um, the Mac operating system is amazing. And there's really not a whole lot that anyone can say to persuade me otherwise. Um, Linux is the only operating system that I might otherwise consider competition for the Mac operating system. Um, mm, coffee. It is really fucking cold outside. And, um... Oh, just a comment. Uh, I can use the word fucking if I want to, to emphasize a point, to emphasize anything really, because it's my blog. <laughs> That's the funny part about it. So if you don't like the word fuck, don't listen to this. Okay? So anyway, as I was saying, it is really fucking cold outside. It's like negative 15 degrees outside. Yeah, negative 15 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Um, my car, instead of starting and then, like, my car likes to do this thing where it starts and then it revs up really high in RPMs and then it chokes or something and then I, I have to do that about two or three times, um, every time I start my car when it's really cold outside, um, just because... It's, it doesn't have fuel injection, so I have to get the gas flowing um, through, I, I don't know exactly the machinery, so, you know, I don't know. I just hate getting criticism for things that I don't know a whole lot about when I'm not really making a post about those things. So I'm not making this post about fuel injection or anything to do with motors. Um, I'm just commenting on how cold it is outside. This morning my car was, like, instead of starting up like it normally does, it kind of started up in slow motion, like, wah, 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 wah. it didn't really want to start. Um, so that kind of sucked, because I was kind of running late. Oh, and that was just kind of to top it all off this morning. I got up late. Later, well, later than I wanted to, and um, I went into the bathroom, um, and I was gonna start, you know, brushing my teeth and getting ready to get out the door, and the water wasn't working. So, I guessed that the pipes were probably frozen, and so I had to get Steve up, and he was freaking out because he just woke up and he's like, oh my god, why is the water not working? I hope something catastrophic didn't happen with the house because he likes to freak out about the house. I can understand because it is a huge investment that we are making and it costs a lot of money to keep it up. But at the same time, the likelihood that it was something catastrophic was pretty low. I'm just glad that it wasn't something bad. Um, it was just that one of our pipes froze because of damage that happened to one of the pipes last year. Um, and all he had to do was take a hair dryer and put, put it on low heat and um, blow it on the pipe for a little bit. And then it eventually started working. And we have this nice little pressure gauge that tells us the pressure. So he saw right away that the pressure was increasing as he was heating it, so that's good. Um, so I can take a shower and brush my teeth when I get home. I feel really disgusting because I brush my teeth twice a day, and granted, I don't shower every day, but it is the winter, so I don't, like, I don't really sweat, but when I do sweat, it's not very much, and so I can get by with showering every other day. I know some people think that's absolutely disgusting, but honestly, I don't care. I could shower every day, but 
I just don't have time to. I'm at Kishwaukee College 14 and a half hours a day, Monday through Thursday. So, and I don't, I can't fall asleep with my hair wet because it's so long that if I fall asleep with it wet, it will end up really poofy and really staticky, and I hate it. Um, I don't know. Oh, I've been posting. I recently um, started using Facebook again just because, like, I didn't know that you couldn't change your regional network more than once per 90 days or whatever, and I did. I changed it from Rockford to Chicago and tried changing it back to Rockford again, and then it wouldn't work. Um, so I just changed it back to Rockford, and now I'm using it again. And I found some Mac, like Apple, um, Apple groups on Facebook, and I, I'm looking up a couple on MySpace, and... I'm really passionate about the new MacBook Air. I don't really care what other people have to say. I mean, yeah, other people do have their points, but it's something that really works for me. It may not work well for others, but it works well for me. Um, I happen to be in a situation where I have other computers that are more powerful so that if I need to use, say, Photoshop or, um, you know, if I need to do hardcore video editing, which is unlikely, I can use those other computers. MacBook Air will do what I want it to do. It's less expensive than a MacBook Pro, and it gets more power efficient. Um, it, it's just more power efficient because of the display, because of the lack of optical drive. You know, if I really had the money, I might get the solid state disk, but solid state disks are just so expensive right now. Like, I've seen a couple people that comment on, you know, 32 gigabyte solid state disks are only $200 on Amazon or whatever, but they fail to mention that 64 gigabyte solid state disks are not even available um, widely um, on a commercial basis. So the fact that Apple uses them makes them very, very expensive. So not only do you have an expensive component, you've got you've got to mark it up to make profit on it and trust me the people who really need it will use it you'll get not quite twice the battery life but you'll get a nice amount more of battery life because the solid state disk has no movable parts to waste power it's also more durable because if you drop uh, a hard drive disk with all its movable parts, you could damage something crucial and fuck it up completely. Whereas with a solid state disk, if you drop it, it's not likely to have any problems with it. That's why flash drives are so handy around college campuses, is because, you know, they're so stable. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of really sick of people just being ignorant and... Um, just very inconsiderate of other people. You know, I might be inconsiderate of others, but if I offend someone, I'll at least try to take the time to apologize for it because I have no intention of offending someone. If I do, I may apologize for it. I may not, depending on the person's sincerity and their complaints. Like if someone says, you're mean, but they don't provide any backup support for it, I'm not likely to apologize. If someone says, you really offended me by posting this, you know, I, I don't like it, whatever, you know, if you really truly don't like it and I don't apologize, feel free to um, report it. You know, that's what, those, that's what those things are there for on YouTube. You can report something if you don't find it kosher, you know, you can... I spam people's message uh, comments all the time because honestly, if my post is about my day and someone says you're really gay, that doesn't have anything to do with the post. It is a short, pointless, annoying message and I will report it as such and then I'll remove it. And I really don't find anything wrong with doing that. Um, more people should do that actually. Um, I'm working on not paying attention, like not giving these comments the attention that they, that the people are trying to get. So, I don't know, but I will probably stop this because it's getting long.